This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Okay, we're just coming into the late afternoon. The crocodiles have had all their sun for today, so they should be warmed up and firing quite well. We might give old mate here another piece of chicken. And uh, what they do in the morning is uh, most reptiles will come out into the sunlight. They're ectothermic, whereas humans are endothermic. We create our own body temperature. Crocodiles re and reptiles rely on the sun to do that for them. Once he gets to a nice temperature, he'll move back into the water. And also then, if he gets hotter again from that, what he'll actually do is lower his heart rate down and he'll sink right down to the bottom where it's nice and cool. And uh, yeah, so basically sunbaking is what they do best. So we're going to have a look. Hello, are you going to come up for some food? Hey, hey. Hey. Go. Oh, look out. Oh, the one behind us. Lucky that fence is there. Okay. He's missed that piece of meat, but what he'll do is he'll smell it. I don't think he was really interested in the chicken, to tell you the truth. He's a naughty crocodile. Gotcha. Grabbed a mouthful of dirt there. You can smell the chicken. Getting a bit close, mate. A bit close for comfort. We'll leave him there. He'll smell that chicken and eventually he'll pick it up. Okay, what we're going to try and demonstrate to you here is a crocodile head shake and a crocodile death roll. Now, the death roll is actually used to twist off chunks of meat that the crocodile can swallow whole because his teeth aren't designed to slice through meat. That's also his massive jaw pressure to crush any bones. So what we've got here is a bit of a sack with a couple of chooks in it and uh, we'll give it to him and see what happens. Oh, he's let it go. We'll give him another one. Oh, there we go. Now, if I pull back on this, he should roll. Oh, head shake, head shake. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that power. Oh, here we go, he's rolling now. Oh, 
okay, what he's actually done is he, <laughs> he's rolled it up so tight, he's got his top teeth caught in there, so we're going to have to uh, get it off him somehow. His natural instinct is to roll. Oh, there we go, it's nearly off. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Okay guys, we're fishing, we got one. Here he comes, we'll see if... Oh, there we go. See if we get Tiger up here to do a bit of a death roll. Now you should see, when you resist pulling against that rope, if a croc grabs you and you resist, he'll head shake or he'll go into a death roll. If he grabs me and I pull against him, He'll head shake. You watch. There we go. Whoa! See the power in that. Coming out this way a bit now. Pull him in a bit. Oh, oh. Here we go. Get ready for a head shake. Like fishing for anything big, you got to make sure you got it tied off to something. Have a look at him. He's just out there. This is the ultimate power of a big five-meter crocodile. The most powerful reptile on earth today. And for him, this is a big game. He loves it. He loves the exercise. He loves a bit of excitement. In the wild, in his domain, he's the king. In captivity, he's got no challenges living in an enclosure by himself. That's why we like to give him a bit of exercise as well. <laughs> Come on, big boy. Come on. Uh, uh, Look at the chicken, look at the chicken. Not me. Look at the chicken. Oh, there we go. That was a good pop, wasn't it? Have a look at him. What a big lizard. Never put yourself between a crocodile and the water. Oh, territorial. Look at him big and strong. Get out of my territory. We might see if we can get old mate to uh, give us a bit of a death roll, shall we? Hopefully this log's strong enough. Tying off. There's no way that I'll be able to hang on to this. No way. If he wanted to go, he's going to take it and he's going to go. Now he should be still picking up the vibrations of the footsteps. He should be just down there as well. And thinking to himself, there's someone still in my territory. If they come close enough, I'm going to have them for breakfast. Should be too, he weighs about 500 kilos. Oh. Here he goes, he's gonna roll. Head shake first. <laughs> Look what he's done to that Hessian sack, eh? I don't think the old chicken's too happy. Oh, he's got it again. He doesn't want to play anymore. These crocodiles, are the apex, top of the food chain in their environments. It's very important that we make sure that they're there for protected all time, especially for our grandkids to see. Basically, if you're in the wild, Northern Australia, and you don't know, don't go swimming, basically. We need to look after these guys. Any places like this down here, you can see this, looks like a bit of a, a crocodile slide. They'll wait in the ambush there for anything to come down for a drink. So it's an obvious place where a crocodile would be. 
let's conserve and look after our native Australian wildlife. Also, all wildlife around the world. Thanks for joining us. I'm Corey Wild, and catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Let's help protect, look after, and promote Mother Nature together. And if you would like to see my full wildlife adventure episodes, you can now download them at coreywild.com. Don't forget to tune in next week so you can join us on our next adventure and see you next time. Corey Wilde always bringing breathtaking adventure to our screens. Corey Wilde is also one of Australia's ambassadors for environmental protection and sustainability. Corey's complete TV series from Southeast Asia and Australia is now available on a DVD set. Let the adventure begin. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.